This is the Banner Engineering QS18 UPAQ5. The sensor is an ultrasonic base sensor, and today we're going to use it in a retrosonic fashion. In other words, we're going to teach it a target or a background, and then anything that comes in between the sensor and that background will change the state of the output of the sensor. Right now I'm using a, a uh, flat piece of glass just to show you that there doesn't have to be any specific type of surface in the background. So you, hopefully you can see the edge of the glass right here on my hand. So we're going to use this as our first target. What I'm going to do is teach the sensor simply by holding the push button in for two seconds, put it in teach mode, and then I'm going to show it the glass uh, once, then I will show it the glass a second time, and that is basically going to be in a kind of a retrosonic fashion. Now the output is energized, so you have two lights on. You have a yellow light, and you also have a green light. So both of those lights are on right now. And if I show it a clear bottle, here's what happens with the clear bottle. As I start to see the leading edge of that clear bottle, the output turns off and stays off throughout the whole body of the bottle. As I clear again, it turns back on. You'll see that the green light will turn on or stay on. It may also turn to a red color. And what that red color is basically saying is that I do not see or hear any sound coming back. Green says that I am getting a signal back uh, sonically and it's working just fine. Red is saying I'm not getting any sound back. I'm going to use a larger diameter bottle. I'll slide this in again, once again, clear bottle. And right there is the edge of the bottle. You see the LED turning on and off. So a very straightforward approach. And it will be off through the duration of the bottle, no matter where the bottle is placed, whether it's up closer to the sensor or further away, the output will always be in the same state. You may see, again, the green light uh, change over to a red color. Um, and that is basically just saying that I'm getting no sonic signal back. And that would be off of the side of the bottle where it's reflecting the sound off and away from the sensor. Now this is a larger diameter bottle. I'm going to place this in between again. And once again you see the output light turn off. You may see the red, green light turn into a red light as it goes through the side. So right now the sound is hitting the side of the target and bouncing off away from the sensor. As I move more towards the middle, you'll see that that signal is back again. So it does see sound. It turns it green and once again out here again to red. And then the output is on once again once I clear the uh, basically the beam of sound that is created between the flat glass and the sensor. So as I bring this in and rotate it, whether it be away from the sensor or up closer to the sensor, it really doesn't matter. The output light stays off the entire time. Now what I'll also do is I'll quickly change out the glass target and we'll put in a stainless steel target. Um, the target material does not matter as long as it is consistent from when you teach the sensor. So that consistency needs to be on both the distance away from the sensor as well as making sure it's the same material so you don't want to have changing targets. So as an example right now the sensor already sees this plate of steel in place. I didn't even have to teach it. So what I'll do though is I'll put another, put the jar back in place and even with the stainless steel background the sensor behaves just fine. We do not see the output LED turning on at all. And again the green LED turning to a red state is perfectly fine in this sensing mode. Now the other nice thing is there is no dead space up close to the sensor within this sensing mode. So you can come right up to the face or you can go all the way back against your backdrop or your background. And once again we'll try it with a small diameter bottle as well. And very good at leading and trailing edge operation. If you have any questions please uh, call Banner Engineering. We'd be happy to help out.